Hey, I'm Milan Kokrenia, professor in ECE. Welcome to my office hours. Hey, Sam. Hey. Good to see you. How are you doing? Doing pretty well. Thank you for uh, taking the time to meet with me today. Definitely, it's yeah. what I do. <laughs> Get to know you a little bit more. You know, I, right. I, I uh, was fortunate enough to take your class. Uh, was that a year ago now? A year ago, yeah. Yeah, spring of uh, 22. I see all the teaching words you've got behind you a little bit. That's kind of yeah. exciting, you know, that you've got all those <laughs> up there. What inspires you to kind of do what you do every day and do it at the level you do it at? So the thing that that uh, really makes me most excited uh, is when I am trying to explain an idea to somebody and I see it click. Mm -hmm. uh, when I see that spark of recognition that, oh, like now I understand this idea or this concept. Uh, and that's that's a high that I, that I can't get enough of. And yeah. so that, that I love doing that. Um, every semester, I tell people that like you know my, the the favorite grades that I give out are not to the students that get A pluses, not to the students that succeed without even trying. My favorite grades are the grades that I get to give to students who were struggling with material, came to office hours a lot, talked to me a lot, worked their way through, really pushed through and figured it out. And then that. B minus or B plus that I gave to that student, that feels way better than any A plus that I give to any student. How do you balance that with like kind of the work-life balance side of things? Um, I, I try very hard to work 40, 45 hours a week. Oh. Um, not do things on Saturdays, like spend time with my kids on Saturdays. Yeah. Um, and Purdue has actually been a really good place to be able to do that, where I feel like I've been able to be very successful and work with great students and work with great colleagues and do great work while, while still being able to maintain that work-life balance. Talk to me a little bit more about what you're up to on these Saturdays. <laughs> Um, well, so now I have kids. Uh, the winter is a little bit easier, but Saturdays now has all of a sudden, my kids are five and seven. Yep. Um, a lot of it is taking them to soccer, <laughs> yep. taking them to t-ball. Yep. Um, Sam, you know this, we've been on uh, some, been in some meetings together. Uh -huh. I said, actually, I have to leave a little bit early because I have to take my, <laughs> got to go get my kids to t-ball practice. Yep. So there's a lot of that. Uh, we spend a lot of time chauffeuring our kids around. Sure. Um, but it's fun. I love watching them do it and I love watching them get excited about those games and, and those kinds of things. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you know, we have friends and we just like to go hang out with them, to go, to go get dinner with them, to go grab lunch, um, go to the park, go down to Indy and mm -hmm. go to the Children's Museum. Um, it is definitely the case that now that I've got a five-year, almost a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, my life largely revolves around what yeah, we're doing with the kids. Sure. Um, we do travel a lot. My family's in North Carolina, my wife's family is in Texas, mm -hmm. so we, we fly out to see them quite a bit. Yeah. Are you taking on a coaching role or uh, more no, on the sidelines? I, I don't have time. My friend, uh, Professor Rogers, who's two doors down here, um, I think he is like his son's baseball coach and I see how much time he has to put into that and I was like, I don't have the time. Sure. <laughs> um, plus, I, I love, I lo actually I love baseball and I love watching my son play t-ball and kind of learn the ins and outs of the game. Mm -hmm. um, but I was never a very athletic person, so I don't actually feel that I would be qualified to be a coach. So now more, I guess, focused on, on you, what would you say yeah. some of your hobbies are um, outside of the work here? The thing I spend the most time on, because it's the hobby that has the, the easiest time of also integrating with the rest of my home life, is cooking. I love to cook. I can zone out for an hour while I'm cooking and just kind of sink into that and not think about other stuff. I'm usually the one cooking dinner four to five times a week. Um, and so I just like experimenting with new recipes or refining and perfecting recipes that I already know. Um, yeah. So that's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I, I do play music. I don't play as much music as I used to anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, you know, I grew up playing the piano and then sort of got back into it uh, once I got older. I picked up the mandolin when I was in college. Um, and now I have kids and my kids don't really let me play very much anymore. Yep. Uh, every time I start playing the piano or start playing the mandolin, they want to come and play and bang on the piano at the same time. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so I don't get to practice very much. I still do enjoy it. Yeah, I actually wanted to jump over to movies sure. real quick. What, what would you say is your, your favorite? So my all-time favorite movie, I, this is super cliche as uh, you know somebody in, in computer science or computer engineering is Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars, I'm, I'm definitely, a, I, I like Star Trek, but I'm definitely a Star Wars person. Yep. Um, my off the beaten path movie that I think I would recommend to people is Sneakers. It's a okay. heist movie from 1992. Mm -hmm. It is, it's fantastic. It's, it's a completely stacked cast. It's Robert Redford and uh, Mary McDowell and... Uh, I recognize none of these names. Robert Redford, you don't recognize Robert I Redford? I Oh my is. gosh. Okay, so you know the meme of the guy nodding his head with the beard, like the, the little animated gif? I don't think so. Oh, I don't think oh, so. This, this, you're hurting me here, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> What's the yeah. one thing um, you wish students knew about you? The thing I love more than anything else is talking to students. Um, you know, just come talk to me, like anytime. Like, yeah. don't don't be intimidated to come talk to honestly any faculty member, but certainly me. Like, I'd love to. Like, if you want to come ask me a question about anything, mm -hmm. it could be about class, it could be about research, it could be about teaching, it could be about I don't know what what's uh, what's a good movie to go see. Yeah. Like, just come talk to me.